Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel Extreme Engineering. Today I'm going to show you how to create a propeller in CATIA V5. So let's get started. We're going to start mechanical design, wireframe and surface design. We are entering part name. Choose starting point with all values zero. OK. Now we are going to use line option point direction. Select point this point direction left click left mouse click epsilon axis in this field we enter the uh, length uh, of the line which is in this example 200 millimeters click OK then we're do we are going to create another line but with other options click on this icon translate direction distance element is this line distance 10 millimeters direction All right mouse button click set axis ok Click OK. Now we are going to rotate this line using this tool, this icon, rotate, click on it. It appears axis angle in field definition mode. Element to rotate is this line. Right mouse click and choose set axis here you enter a uh, angle which is 8 degrees for example click OK now we are going to hide this line center line right button mouse click then hide show OK now we are going to connect these uh, two lines. First we are going to use this line. Select point point. And we are going to connect these two lines. These two points. One, two, click OK. Then we are going to connect this two point of lines, but using this command, connect curve, set this in this field con uh, continuity curator, continuity curator. Select point field, then select this point, then this point, and you see mm, in this point is uh, reverse radius. Radius. To correct that, we are going to use this button reverse direction. Okay, and then we are going to enter the values for this tension 1 and 2 in this case we're going to put tension 2 and this 1.3 preview ok then we are going to 
fill these mm, contours of the propeller we are going to do to do this with command fill click on fill command that opens this window fill surface definition and then select these contour lines one two three four click OK that's it we have one blade of the propeller then uh, we are going to another model start mechanical design part design click on part design then click on exception plane select it, select it then enter the sketch okay we're going to create a circle use circle command then click in the center coordinate click form circle and then define radius of the circle or diameter diameter for example it could be 50 millimeters click ok exit sketch create pad use command mirror extent then you can increase the length for example on 30 millimeters preview click ok Okay. Now we can hide these lines, lines uh, which present the contour of the our blade of the propeller. Propeller. Select this line one. Keep the control button and select another three lines. That, that, and that point, and that line right button click on mouse then click hide show okay now we are going to define the thickness of this uh, propeller blade click on the blade then use this icon thick surface in this window you can define the thickness of the propeller we are going to increase it on, for example, 3 millimeters. Preview. That's okay. Open the tree. Then we are going to move this uh, yellow surface by clicking on fill. Right click, then hide show. Okay. Then we are going to use circular button to create more blades of the propeller. Click on complete crown. Increase instances, for example, three. Select reference element, which is object, current, solid. Create uh, current solid choose thick surface ok we are going to hide these three planes I show and that's it thanks for watching